Hey guys! Today we're going to learn how to make this easy crochet coaster pattern for beginners. All you need to know for this pattern are the single and double crochet, and although it can look a little intimidating, I promise it is very simple. For this tutorial, you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook and a medium weight yarn. For this project, I used paint box yarns, recycled cotton worsted. This is 100% recycled cotton, and I really love it for this project. They have lots of beautiful colors over on their website, but if you're not interested in using this yarn, you can use any medium weight yarn that you have on hand. To get started, we're going to create a slip knot and chain three. So one, two, three. Now we're going to place eight double crochet into this first chain. So we have three chains. We're going to double crochet into the very first chain, so the third chain from your hook. So to double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now repeat that seven more times, yarn over, Insert your hook into that same chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. All right, so now that we've placed eight double crochet into that first chain, we've created our circle. So what we're going to do is slip knot to the very first stitch. Those two chains that we skipped at the beginning does not count as a stitch, so we're going to skip over those chains and slip stitch into the very first double crochet that we made. To slip stitch, just insert your hook into the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull that loop through, and through the loop on your hook. And that's our first round. For round two, you're going to chain one and place two single crochet in each stitch around. So to single crochet, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now single crochet into that same stitch, and you have two single crochet in that first stitch. And we're just going to continue placing two single crochet in each stitch around. All right, and that is our final stitch, so you should have 16 single crochet in this round. Now remember that this here is a false stitch. This is our slip stitch from the previous round, so we're not going to place a stitch here. We're just going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the round. And that's it for round two. For round three, we're going to chain two and again, this chain two does not count as a double crochet, so you're going to place two double crochet into that very first stitch. So again, with the second double crochet in the same stitch, just like that. Now double crochet one time into the next stitch, Place two double crochet into the next. One double crochet into the next. And then just repeat that pattern around. So you'll have two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around.
All right, so you should end round three with one double crochet into the last stitch. Now go ahead and slip stitch to that first double crochet. And at the end of round three, you should have 24 stitches. For round four, chain one and place two single crochet into that very first stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And we're just going to repeat that pattern around. Now slip stitch to that first single crochet of the round and you should have 32 single crochet in round 4. Chain 2 for round 5, double crochet twice into that very first stitch, now place one double crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch, and one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And just repeat that pattern around. At the end of round five, you'll slip stitch to the first double crochet, and you should have 40 stitches in this round. Chain one, and this is our last row of increases like this. So place two single crochet into that very first stitch, and if I didn't already mention a chain one, make sure you chain one. Now place one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and just repeat that pattern around. Then we'll get to the fun part. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would love for you to pause, give it a quick thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite drink. I love to make smoothies and slushies in the summer. And my son's favorite drink right now is a strawberry slushie. So I'm sure these coasters will be used a lot by some slushies. At the end of round six, you should have 48 stitches. Go ahead and slip stitch to your first single crochet of the round. And now we'll start the puff stitches. So to do this, you're going to chain two. And puff stitches are super simple, I promise. So what you're going to do is chain two and place five double crochet into that very first stitch. So all in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch just like we've been doing and that's one double crochet. Now place a second double crochet into that same spot and then do three more all in that same stitch. So this is what it should look like. You have five double crochet all in this one space and it's so jam packed in there that it looks like it's about to explode. So now to create your puff stitch, you're going to 
pull up a loop a little bit, count to your fifth stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook into that the top of that fifth stitch, grab the loop, pull it tighter, not too tight, but just a little tight, and then you're going to pull that loop through. Now chain two, and then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to skip the next stitch and then place another puff stitch into the next. So remember that we're skipping this stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, and place five double crochet all into that stitch. Whenever you're doing this, some of your stitches might seem to overlap a little bit, but it's totally fine, no big deal. So again, pull up your loop a little bit after you have your five double crochet. Count five stitches in, so we have one, two, three, four, and five. Insert your hook into that fifth stitch, insert your hook into that loop, and pull that loop to close it. And then you have your second puff chain two, and we're going to do it together one more time. So you can see this is the next stitch, we're skipping that one, and placing our ne next puff stitch into this stitch here. So place five double crochet into that same stitch. So now we have our five double crochet, one, two, three, four, five. We, we lifted up our loop and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook into that fifth one. Grab the loop and pull that loop through. And that's our third puff stitch. Don't forget to chain two. And then you'll just continue repeating this around. You'll skip the next stitch, puff, chain two, skip the next stitch, puff, chain two, and so on. You should be placing your last puff stitch into the second to last stitch. Then go ahead and chain two. We're going to skip that last stitch and slip stitch to the first puff stitch of the round. So here's the top of the puff. We're just gonna insert our hook into that stitch up there and pull through. Now to finish off this super easy crochet coaster, we're going to cut our yarn a couple inches, yarn over, and pull that strand all the way through. Now all you have to do is weave in your ends and you're good to go. If you do choose to use Paintbox Yarns Recycled Cotton Worsted, I was able to make five of these coasters with about this much left. I don't actually know if this would be enough for a sixth one. I might test it out and see, but you'll get at least five, and I think that's pretty good for one skein of yarn. And it has 169 yards. That way, if you're looking at a different kind of yarn, you'll know that with at least 169 yards, you'll be able to get at least five coasters. And then you can use the rest of your scrap yarn to try some different colors. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial for this easy crochet coaster pattern for beginners. At the time that I'm releasing this, this pattern is a part of our annual stash busting challenge. So if you'd like to get the PDF for this pattern for free, I'm going to include the link for the full written pattern in the description box. And within that post, you'll find a button that tells you how exactly you can get this PDF for free. Happy making!